Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next setting in the material settings section is going to be your build plate temperature. Now the build plate temperature also has a build plate temperature initial layer and you can turn it up from there. That is for specific adhesion moments. Uh, say I were printing an ABS as I rose up on my platform. Since I'm not enclosed, I would want to raise the heat of the bed to reduce the temperature gap between the nozzle and the bed. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. There are other ways around that, such as printing a draft shield or building an enclosure for your printer. But in some cases, you want the build plate temperature to either raise or reduce as you're printing the object. Now, a word of warning, you don't want to have a super high build plate temperature and then drop it down dramatically because that is the surest way to release the model from the bed and probably have it knocked off by the print head. A good rule of thumb is for the main three filaments, which we're talking PLA, PETG, and ABS again. PLA will adhere pretty much to anything. Uh, I get really good luck with it, and I don't really need to increase my build plate past 40 if I turn it on at all. Once in a while, I'll get a tricky type of filament, and I might increase it to 50. But for the other two filaments, I'm gonna be right around 60 degrees um, at least to 70, 75 degrees for ABS. Now the PETG sticks pretty well for me around 60 degrees in most cases, but this again is one thing that you're going to have to play with based on the particular filament that you're using. And you can also find a recommendation for this usually on the box or the spool or the manufacturer's website or wherever they keep their specs right next to the recommended nozzle temperature. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.